Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I've just driven my larder up to the Staffordshire village of Grindon. And what we're going to do today, we're going to go for a walk down to the Manifold Valley and up to Fjord's Cave. I'm going to start off, we're just going to walk through the churchyard in the village of Grindon and then I've got to walk about a mile and a half down to the Manifold Valley and then we're going to climb to Fjord's Cave. But let's start with the church, because it's a beautiful Victorian church. Um, I've been told it's not open so we won't be able to go inside but we can have a look from the outside and then um, carry on down into the Manifold Valley. I have been to Manifold Valley before, it's a really beautiful place but I've not been to where we're going to today so I'm really looking forward to it. Just have a look at the church at the moment. Very um, attractive building. Now we leave the church into the, the little village of Grindon. It's not a big place. Um, not sure how many people live here, but it, you know it isn't big. But it's it's a very pleasant looking little village. Um, so yeah, from here we shall um, as we come out of the churchyard, see a little lane. I'm going to walk off down here, down public and uh, let's go down to the Manifold Valley and find Fjord's Cave. So as we come down the path from the village of Grindon, the place we're going to see is towering above us, not the tree, but the rock behind it. That's Fjord's Cave, you can see the big hole. now. We're going to actually go up into that and then when we've done that we're going to go right onto the top. So Fjord's Cave was formed by wind and rain millions of years ago. Once upon a time all of this land would have been under the sea and it would have been um, you know compressed rocks on coral reefs perhaps and plants compressing it right down and then with the tectonic plates land rises over millions of years ago and we're now rather than under sea we're quite high up and the cave eventually formed, it was used, um, would have been used by animals to shelter, it was also used as a Bronze Age burial site. So it's going to be quite a fascinating place, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I'm just coming down to the Manifold Valley. Now this walk isn't meant to be a railway walk or a disused railway walk, but right in front of us we happen to have a disused railway line. This is the old Leak and Manifold Railway. We have done videos on this in the past and my plan is to do a video the whole railway in the future where we'll go all the way from Waterhouses right up to Hulmend. We have done a video at Hulmend and we have done one in the tunnel but I'd like to do one on the whole railway. Oh by the way the land we're on now is National Trust, it's called Ladyside. There we go, so um, also been to a National Trust place although there's no passports to be stamped if you, um, for those of you who saw my National Trust passport videos. So here we are, this is where the little narrow gauge track, ooh, blimey, uh, getting caught in the gate there. This is where the little narrow gauge track would have ran and there'd actually been a station here and tourists would have got off it to make their way, as we're going to do, right up there, although we're obviously having to make do with walking, not with a train. So like I said, we will do the railway in the future, we'll do a complete video on the railway, but just so you know, we are actually standing the railway station would have been here and um, we are on an old railway station. But the River Manifold is just here. We're going to go over a bridge over the River Manifold and then we're going to begin our winding path up to Fjord's Cave. So we're just going to cross the bridge here. Here's the bridge. Oh, and the river appears to be dried up, which is rather a shame. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I was looking forward to seeing the, the water flowing and everything and but yeah the river's dried up. We're now gonna begin our ascent up to Fjord's Cave. Oh look, some wild garlic. I thought I could smell garlic then. It's this plant here. This plant is wild garlic and you can actually eat these leaves. So the path continues up here. I'm gonna carry on walking up to Fjord's Cave. We're gonna go inside and explore it. So I've been climbing up these steps from the valley floor um, and we are now approaching the cave. This is the cave that's also featured in the 1988 film The Lair of the White Worm. Look at it there. There it is in front of it. So let's go up and 
up the final few steps and um, have a look inside, which I'm really quite excited about. We can see the views over the Manifold Valley opening up. What we're going to do, when we've been in there, the climbing won't be over. We're going to go up there to the rock on top so we can see the wider views over the valley. But right now, I'm just going to let you see these views and then we shall go up and inside the cave. See the railway track bed just down there. And the wind's picking up, so I think we better get into the cave. Look at it, it's pretty exciting looking. It started raining now, be a good place to be. This is real climbing about. Um, how can I Most people aren't doing it with a camera, so it's a slight disadvantage I've got, but hopefully I'm making a video. Exciting, there's the trap bed down there. Now, which way should I go? go up here. There's quite a lot of people in here. I just noticed down there, um, down the bottom, I talked more about the geology. I just noticed a fossil there in the rock. But let's go up into the cave now. From what I've been told, it's quite extensive, quite big once we get right inside here. It's a bit slippery. Let's get out the wind. silhouetted or was a second ago. Well, look, we'll go down there. Um, what happens down there? That's not a ghost, that's just someone with a torch. Um, so yeah, the cave goes into there, carries on up that way. I'm not going to go up there because I haven't got a torch on me. Look at that though, look. That's the other entrance, that's not the one we came in. I'm going to go down this one, um, which goes into the other main cave. This is really amazing though, I mean, just have another look at this. You think, all oh, this is natural, this isn't, you know, <laughs> something the Victorians built to be a tourist attraction, it's a pure natural phenomenon. It's amazing. Let's, um, let's go down this, this way here, I'm quite drawn to going down here and seeing where it'll take us. If we look down there, you see there's like another pathway going in. And in the Iron Age, this was um, a burial place, so I don't know, it could be haunted, you never know. All these Iron Age people that were buried in here. How am I going to get down here? This might have been easier said than done, me taking you this way. Yeah, it's alright, I think I can just about get out of here. Excuse me a moment, there we go. Back on a sort of ground. So the cave goes right into the rock that way. That's one way out. And that's another. See the woods. That's the woods we came out to get here. So the thing I'm going to do now is get out of the cave and um, we shall carry on. We'll carry on to the very top. So we've got out of the cave. Um, I'm now going to carry on to the very top of the hill to show you the best of the view. So that's where we came up, the winding zigzag path. Carry on this way now to the very top where no doubt we're going to get some really amazing views. So let's climb to the top. So we are now on our final steps up to the rock above Fjord's cave. The views are getting more and more spectacular. Looking down the Manifold Valley down towards water houses. I can see the quarries and the cement works are called in those. That's where the Leek and Manifold Railway would have started down near there. The valley winds its way that way. And you may be able to see on the hill over there the spire of Grindon Church where we started. 
there's a sheer drop just here, but the view is amazing. I'm just going to show you now this side. Look at that. The pastures, the fields, it's in complete contrast to what you see on this side. So if we walk just around here, here's the most dramatic part of the view. There we go, looking out into the valley. I can just see down there, that's the path we came down from the village of Grinlow. I'm just going to go to this rock just there and I'll show you the real panoramic view of the area. Here we are on the rock. You can easily see the trap bed down there because it is a um, top of the road. You can just see, look, just see someone down there on their bike. I must look like a tiny The railway carries on up there. The tunnel, which we've been through in an earlier video, is further on up there. So yeah, it's a really amazing place. I've come from that way. I'm going to go back down and find another way back up to the village of Grindon. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and um, why not come out here into the Peak District and see Fjord's Cave and the whole Manifold Valley. And in the future, I know there's not been, on this video, been a lot of the Leica Manifold Valley Railway. We will do a video dedicated to the Leica Manifold Valley in the future. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. Thanks very much for watching.